Hi, I'm Almandius with a new video. Today we will talk about tigers, the largest of the modern day big cats, but whose prehistoric ancestors will make it look like a little kitty. Prowling the jungles of the island of Java, the Gandong tiger is an animal not well known by the general public, so I guess it was time that we get to know it. But first, where do tigers come from? The evolution of the big cats and other carnivores is an amazing topic I have to say for another video, so I will keep it simple. The earliest known cat is Broilurus, that appeared 35 million years ago during the Oligocene era. It inhabited Europe and Asia, and it is believed to be the ancestor of most felid groups. Pantherine felines, like lions and leopards, are believed to have evolved in Asia during the Miocene. The oldest pantherine cat is Panthera blithae, a snow leopard-like cat that inhabited the Tibetan Plateau more than 5 million years ago. The ancestor of tigers, on the other hand, Panthera sandusky, lived in China more than 2 million years ago. It was the size of a jaguar and it was likely covered in spots, since spotted coats are known to be the original pattern of cats. From China, they spread south and to other regions due to the low sea levels present at the time. This was due to the ice caps increasing in size. During the Pleistocene, the sea levels were so low that land masses were created. This allowed many animals to move in between islands connected by land bridges. During this time, the southeast of Asia formed a large landmass that is known today as Sundaland. Islands like Java, Sumatra, and Borneo were united to the mainland by corridors of grasslands that allowed animals to colonize these new places. Gandong tiger, whose scientific name is Panthera tigris soloensis, appeared during the Pleistocene era, believed to be a descendant of the Huaxian tiger from northern China. The bones of soloensis were found in the banks of the Solo River in the island of Java. Only seven fossils are known, including a femur and tibia. Despite the lack of better remains, an image of these animals can be made based on the still living relatives. Size estimations of the Gandong tiger use it to place it at a size similar to the modern-day Bengal tiger, Panthera tigris tigris, but other fossils have suggested a larger size. It is believed it reached weights of up to 811 pounds, a weight only some Siberian tigers can reach. Some measurements have based the bones around 2.3 meters in length and 120 centimeters in height. This makes it one of the largest cats to ever exist rubbing shoulders with the American lion. A key characteristic of tigers are their stripes and their reddish coat. The stripes of tigers are able to camouflage them in the jungle alongside its coat that I already mentioned. Since most of these prey, currently deer and wild boar, cannot process the color red the way we do, they only see a green spot moving in the trees. Soloensis' behavior must have been similar to other tigers, mostly solitary and rarely seen alongside most of its kin. Tigers hunt by stalking prey and ambushing it when it gets close enough. Since they're not sprinters, they will kill with a bite to the neck, and the prey dies of suffocation and blood loss. After subduing it, it might drag its kill to a safe area to feed. A tiger once dragged a gao carcass almost 39 feet before eating it. To put it into perspective, an adult gaur weighs almost 3,000 pounds. The teeth and jaws of the tiger are adapted to grip its prey, and its powerful neck muscles are what allows it to hold it and move such a prize. Judging by the size of the Gandong tiger, it's not hard to imagine it dragging large-bodied herbivores that lived around it, and in Sundaland there were many animals in Soloensis' menu. Java was home to many creatures, some of them still alive today. Elephants are still part of the fauna of Asia, but in prehistory there were many more members of the group. Elephas hisundrindicus inhabited Hava. It was a member of the same genus as the Asian elephant, Elephas maximus, but it was anatomically distinct to be considered a different species. Another proboscidean was Stegodon. Once considered a relative of elephants, it is now known to belong to a different branch of the evolutionary tree of these animals. In appearance it resembled modern elephants, but its trunk lay to the side of its tusks rather than in the middle like, like other elephants. Fossils of Stegodon have been found all across Asia and they vary in size from region to region. From the last Chinese Stegodon sandusky that weighed at 10 tons to dwarf species as tall as a man. In Java, the fossils correspond to the species Stegodon trigonocephalus, 
and this creature was a scaled-down version of its larger relatives. Stegodons were more common than Asian elephants in Asia, and species inhabited from Japan, China, to as far south as East Timor. Bovines are another animal present in Asia. Before domestication, wild species of cattle existed, among them Bubalus palaokerabau, the longhorn Javan water buffalo, a prehistoric and wild ancestor of the modern wild buffalo. Its long horns measured one meter long each. Another one was Bos paleosondaicus, an ancestor of the of the modern-day Bangtan, a bovid that still inhabits the region and has been domesticated by the peoples of the islands of Java, Sumatra and Borneo. The waters of Java were the home of a creature known as Exaprotodon sivalensis, a medium-sized hippo. We used to think they just lived in Africa, but in the past they spread into Europe and even Asia. Sivalensis had six incisors. These exaggerated teeth were likely used in combat between males, or as a possible defense against predators. Some animals that were still around today that existed in the time of the tiger in Java include Rusa deer, the Malayan tapir, and the Havan rhinoceros. Once widespread from Vietnam to Indonesia, now is the most endangered of the large mammals, existing only in a small piece of jungle in Java. With its size, the Gandong tiger would have been able to hunt most of these animals but he had competition from other predators. Other cats lived alongside the tiger. Some were saber-tooths. Homotherium, also known as the scimitar tooth cat, is known from this region. Its sabers were smaller than its more famous cousin, Smilodon, but they were serrated on both sides and were perfect to pierce the hide of elephants and other large herbivores. But where there are cats, there are dogs. Hava had a large one, Megasayon meriami, a large canid the size of a wolf, related to the African wild dog. It was a pack hunter, with its size and number it would have fought the tiger for prey at any time. Scavengers are always around and in Hava, fossils of the large hyena Pachycrocuta have been found, a giant bone-crushing hyena that its huge size allowed it to compete for food against cats and dogs. Predators still extinct today include the Havan leopard, and the Asian wild dog known as Dole. In this world, the tiger lived from the Middle Pleistocene to roughly 10,000 years, where it became extinct. But how? Theories place our ancestors. Bones of Homo erectus are known from Hava and their arrival coincides with the extinction of many large animals. But a more likely explanation are the growing sea levels. Behold, Hava was united to the mainland, and so, Tigers evolve large sizes due to the availability of prey and also as an incentive with so many competitors. But with the land bridges gone, the island couldn't support large animals. It is believed tigers reduced in size with the extinction of its prey and rely on smaller animals like deer and wild boar. The Havan tiger remain on the island, the smallest of all believed to by some to be a descendant of Soloensis. It became extinct recently in the 20th century victim of the expansion of human populations in the region. The lands of the Far East remain unknown to some, and all I've done is scratch the surface of a lost world that awaits to be rediscovered. I thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great day.